hey what is up everyone this is imat and today's video is about using the macOS bootable installer to install macOS on your external hard drive so in this video we're going to be using the macOS bootable flash drive to install macOS on the external hard drive so before we start if you're new here then i'm imat and make videos related to tech including unboxing reviews and tutorials like this to help you out in many situations so if you're interested then make sure to hit the subscribe button to help me reach the 15k mark and also follow me on my socials and a like and a comment would be highly appreciated so first of all guys we will need to use the macOS bootable flash drive it can be created in just a few steps so i'm gonna be leaving the link of my video in the description box below you can use this video to create a bootable macOS installer so it is really easy so i'm gonna be leaving the link of this video in the description box below so once we have the bootable flash drive ready to install macOS on the external hard drive i'm gonna connect my external hard drive to the macbook so i've connected my hard drive now so it has three partitions so the external hard drive needs to be in macOS format system so first of all we're gonna open this utility for that we're gonna go to go then go to utilities and after that look for disk utility so here it is so after that once it has opened you're gonna click here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna format this drive i'm gonna click on erase i've already backed up all of my data so keep in mind that all of the data will be erased in this procedure so it is recommended to do a complete format on your external hard drive so after that i'm gonna name it macOS external and then I'm gonna select macOS extended journal and GUID partition map. So after that, click on erase and then it will start to erase the external hard drive. So just give it its time. So when you see this, click on don't use, and then click on done. So now our external hard drive is also ready and now we're gonna restart our MacBook. So now keep your external hard drive connected to the MacBook and also connect your bootable macOS flash drive to the MacBook and restart your MacBook by holding the options key. So guys here you can see that my external hard drive and the macOS USB flash drive or macOS USB installer is connected. So now we're gonna restart our MacBook and boot into the bootable installer. For that we're gonna restart our MacBook then press and hold the options key when the screen goes black. So I'm gonna click on restart again. Now just wait for the screen to go black and then we will press and hold the options key. So give it its time. So here it is. Now I'm gonna press and hold the options key until we see the boot options. So here they are. After that select your USB flash drive. Here is my external hard drive and here is the USB installer which is named install macOS Mojave. So press enter to boot into it and then wait for your macbook to boot you into it and then we will be in the recovery screen so just wait for it so here we are so now let's move to the next step so here you can go to disk utility if you haven't formatted your disk yet So after going here you will have to select your external hard drive here it is and then you will have to click on erase so you can see that mine is already in APFS format so click on erase if you haven't yet select APFS or macOS journal and then click on erase again so the process will be done in just a few more seconds so it's deleting the volume now it will create the volume so just give it its time so now it's creating APFS volume which is Apple file system so after that click on done then click on disk utility and quit disk utility after that double click on install macOS or click on continue to boot into it and then we will be on the installation screen so here we are after that uh, move your cursor towards the continue button then click on agree and then click on agree again and after that you will have to choose your external hard drive make sure you select the right drive otherwise you will lose data so here in my case i named it macOS external if you remember so i'm gonna select this one then click on install 
and after that it will start the installation process so now we're gonna wait for the installation on the external hard drive to finish and then we will move towards the next step our macbook will restart and and we will see the apple logo where it will take around 30 to 40 minutes so i will be back to you once it's almost done so it's almost done now so i'm just gonna wait for it to finish and after that the macbook will restart so just to wait and watch so now the macbook is restarting and we will see the apple logo now and here it is so after that we will see the loading bar and it will take around 30 to 35 minutes so let's wait for it to finish and after that our macbook will restart once again and we will see the apple logo again and when it finishes we will be on the startup screen so here it is here it is welcome screen so i'm gonna quickly set up everything so now it's setting up my mac so everything is done and we have booted into the mac os so here you can see that uh, a mac os mojave has been installed on the external hard drive here is the external hard drive and here are rest of the drives and i have installed windows on the bootcamp one then we have the mac os x which is my main drive which has mac os catalina installed on it so this is how easy it is to install mac os on external hard drive so after that if you want to boot from settings to any other drive then you can go to startup disk and after that guys you will have to select one of them from here so wait for it to show them up so here they are bootcamp mac os x which is my main drive and then macros external so click on the lock button then enter your password and then click on unlock and after that you can select either of them so i have installed windows on this one for so clicking restart will boot me to windows so i'm gonna boot into my main drive so if you are in your main drive then you can select macros external for the same purpose so i'm gonna select my main drive which is mac os x mac os 10.15.7 and i will boot into the main drive so what i'll have to do is i'm gonna click on it and after that i'll click on restart and wait for my macbook to restart and it will turn on in my main mac os drive so just wait for it So here you can see that it has turned on in my main drive so here you can see that macOS external is shown here you can access all of your other attached to hard drives or ssds from finder so you can see that i can access my macOS external drives data from here so this is how easy it is so now i'm gonna be showing you how can you boot into any of the drive when your laptop is powered off so for that first of all i'm gonna shut down my macbook so wait for it so after it has shut down press the power button then immediately press and hold the options key and wait for the boot options to show up so here it is so this time we're gonna select macOS external on which we have installed the macOS Mojave and then press enter so after that it will take a few seconds because it's the first boot and then we will boot into macOS Mojave on our external hard drive so here it is guys this is how easy it is to switch between the hard drives and install macOS on your external hard drive so I really really hope that this video helped you out so this is all from today's video I really hope that this video helped you out if this video did then make sure to hit the subscribe button and help me reach 15k subscribers and also turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos a like and a subscribe will be highly appreciated follow me on my socials and i will see you in the next video until next time this is imat peace out